Proxima Centauri b, the nearest exoplanet to the Earth. It is approximately 4.2 light years from Earth in the constellation of Centaurus, making it the closest known exoplanet to the solar system. Alpha Centauri is the closest star system and closest planetary system to Earth's solar system at 4.37 light years from the Sun. It is a triple star system consisting of three stars, Centauri A, Centauri B, and Centauri C, or Proxima Centauri. The two largest stars, the Sun size Aprox, form a binary system of their own. Proxima is 0.2 light years from the rest of the binary system. Proxima Centauri b is orbiting in the habitable zone of the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri. The exoplanet is orbiting within the habitable zone, 0.0485 astronomical unit from its star of Proxima Centauri, the region where, with the correct planetary conditions and atmospheric properties, liquid water may exist on the surface of the planet. An astronomical unit, AU, is the average distance between Earth and the Sun, which is about 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers. So Alpha Centauri b is 20 times closer to its Sun than the Earth to our Sun. What is a red dwarf? A red dwarf is the smallest and coolest kind of star in the main sequence. Red dwarfs are by far the most common type of star in the Milky Way, at least in the neighborhood of the Sun. However, because of their low luminosity, individual red dwarfs can't easily be observed. From Earth, not one that fits the stricter definitions of a red dwarf is visible to the naked eye. Proxima Centauri, the nearest star to the Sun, is a red dwarf, as are 50 of the 60 nearest stars. According to some estimates, red dwarfs make up three quarters of the stars in the Milky Way. Planetary habitability of red dwarf systems is subject to some debate. Despite their great numbers and long lifespans, there are several factors which may make life difficult on planets around a red dwarf. First, planets in the habitable zone of a red dwarf would be so close to the parent star that they would likely be tidally locked. This would mean that one side would be in perpetual daylight and the other side in eternal night. This could create enormous temperature variations from one side of the planet to the other. Such conditions would appear to make it difficult for forms of life like those on Earth to evolve, and it appears that there is a great problem with the atmosphere of such tidally locked planets. The perpetual night zone would be cold enough to freeze the main gases of their atmospheres, leaving the daylight zone bare and dry. On the other hand, recent theories propose that either a thick atmosphere or planetary ocean could potentially circulate heat around such a planet. What environment conditions may be on the Proxima Centauri b? Proxima Centauri is a flare star. This means that it undergoes occasional dramatic increases in brightness and high energy emissions because of magnetic activity that would create large solar storms. On the 18th of March 2016, a superflare was observed. The March 2016 flare reached about 68 times usual level, thus a little brighter than the Sun. The surface irradiation was estimated to be 100 times what is required to kill even UV-hardy microorganisms based on the rate of observed flares. Total ozone depletion of an Earth-like atmosphere would occur within several hundred thousand years. What makes it even less habitable that it is estimated solar winds on the planet is 2,000 times higher than on the Earth. However, if Proxima b had a strong magnetic field, the flare activity of its parent star would not be a problem. Proxima Centauri b receives about 65% of the amount of radiative flux from its host star that the Earth receives from the Sun. For comparison, Mars receives about 43%. Most of the radiative flux from Proxima Centauri is in the infrared spectrum. In the visible spectrum, the exoplanet receives only 3% of the light, so usually it will not get much brighter than twilight anywhere on Proxima Centauri b's surface. Because of its tight orbit, Proxima Centauri b receives about 400 times more X-ray radiation than the Earth does.